Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to test and try out the Boja Saki Brightening Hydrogel Mask. Uh, basically, it's supposed to brighten, firm, and hydrate your skin. So let's get right into it and see how it works. So I'm just gonna read the instructions a little bit. Open foil pack and remove two piece hydrogel face mask. Unfold mask pieces. Bottom piece will be at the top. Remove clear lining from the bottom piece. Align and, and place exposed mask surface directly onto clean, dry face, keeping the white liner in place. Smooth out edges firmly and adjust to contours of face. Along the jawline, remove white liner and remove out the air pockets using fingertips. Leave on for 20 minutes, remove mask and discard, then massage then massage remaining essence in the foil packet into your face. This is what the packaging looks like. Who is super slimy? Okay. So this is the top part. It is so freaking slippery. Like I can barely keep it in my hands. Okay. So this is the top piece. Oh God. Like I literally, literally cannot keep it in my hand because it's so slippery. Okay, let's do this quick. Oh. I don't want it to fall off my face. So my initial thoughts of this mask is it feels really light on the face. Like it, it really doesn't feel like, obviously I can feel on my skin, but it just feels really light like there's nothing on there. So I think I have everything smoothed out. All right, now for the bottom piece. It is definitely super slippery. Like you have to make sure you have a good grip on it. Um, or else it will like slip and slide out of your hands. Okay. Now. Oh, the second half is super difficult to work with. Okay. <gasps> no! It's like once I get one half straightened out, the other half sticks together. Oh my god. Oh, there we go. Okay, got it, got it. I'm not sure. I think I put this upside down. Maybe not. Okay, now I'm gonna smooth out the bottom piece. To be honest, I'm not sure if I have this upside down or not. Hi. Okay, so I'm gonna leave this on for 20 minutes and I will be right back. Hey guys, I'm back now. It has been about 20 minutes now, so I'm gonna take this off and uh, finish the rest of the steps. So basically, on the instructions, it says take the masks off. And then using your fingertips, just wipe the rest in or pat the rest of the gel into your skin. My face feels so cold after having that mask on. <laughs> All right, so that is it. So my initial thoughts of the mask is it does feel really nice on the skin. It, because it's so jelly and liquidy, it feels really nice on the skin and it just feels light 
on the skin. It's hard to explain how it actually feels, but it just feels really nice. The only negative thing I would say about this mask is it's super, super slippery. Obviously it will be because of the gel or the hydro gel that's on it, but it was really difficult to actually work with and it took a little bit to get onto the face. And for a little bit, it kept sliding down. So definitely if you put it on your face, you wanna make sure you lay back or sit back where your face is kind of like parallel to the, the roof. Um, because it did keep sliding down but other than that it felt really great on the skin right now my skin feels really good um i'm just gonna let it dry a little bit i feel like it did uh brighten my skin and it does feel really hydrated um obviously i won't really know if it has firmed the skin because i feel like for these masks you have to use it more than once to actually notice it firming your skin and of course you have to wait like a little bit for it to actually settle into your skin and firm but this mask is actually pretty cool. It's such an inexpensive um, mask. I got this from Sephora. I believe it was like 10 or $12. So it's really inexpensive and it feels really nice. So yeah, I hope you like this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. And until next time, I'll see you guys soon.